but then speaking of mellow i'm very intrigued so this is my other rosebud i'm very intrigued with the development of the story between mellow and trick because we're supposed to be believing right now like everything is good like accidents happen like this is the stuff that whatever like just trying to act like it's not a big deal and i am just very excited for when we get to the point where trick is like f you and like turns on him to get back on back at him for Mm -hmm. i mean obviously trying to take him out and uh yeah so i I'm, i'm very curious to see how they go about this because i have not been an avid watcher of nxt but I don't remember the last time that there was a storyline that was like this, especially when it was two guys that people were really into and really excited to cheer for and wanting them to remain like a group. So I'm really interested to see how they go about this because they're both very over, obviously. So but people, over. people felt betrayed by Mello because they love them some Trick Williams. So And it's in me, it's like Mello. It, we're getting a little bit of that heel turn from Mello right now. Like, yeah. and it's the slow roasting of it where you have Mello obviously being accompanying him at ringside for a Trick's match. Mm-hmm. And then if you noticed when it goes from just Trick on the Jumbotron and then into the five people who are going to be in the Iron, Iron Survivor Challenge mm-hmm. and, um, there's like the mystery, like the question mark people, vacant spots. And Mel is just like eyeing a little bit, like, you know, eyes seem to wander just a little bit too long. Yeah. The little stuff like that we were not getting in NXT or even in WWE programming mm-hmm. so long. And to have it be from someone like a Carmelo who's so young and not even on the main roster yet, like it, with this story, this could be be something that elevates both of them at the end of the day. Oh yeah. Well, cause it, it's gonna, it's coming off. Like I feel a situation that people can relate to. I mean, un- unfortunately, but I, I mean, I think I can too. And I'm sure in the wrestling business, people can do that. I mean, we've talked about it. I would say it's similar to how I've talked about uh, what it looks like. Charlotte did with like Becky. Yeah. And that was real life, but this is, obviously just on screen where it feels like Carmelo was cool with trick because he always thought he was going to be the star. He didn't have to worry about trick, you know, because he was just going to be like his buddy, his sidekick, whatever. And then the second that trick started doing his own thing, getting over on his own, having fans uh, cheer for him, getting t-shirts, whatever. Melo started to feel threatened because he's used to befriending people that he views as below them as not competition to him. Now that mm-hmm. trick is like getting to his level, that's when we're like, Oh, okay. He attacked him. He didn't want him in this match. He doesn't want this. He doesn't want that. Cause he doesn't want to share the spotlight. And so I feel like that's going to be really interesting. Cause they can really deep d- uh, dive deep into that. Cause it is something that, you know, outside of wrestling, you, you really can pull, from your own life experience and be like, Oh yeah. Okay. Like, and that's easy to get heel heat on somebody, you know, oh, it makes them so, so hateable. Yeah. It's so hateable because everyone feel has been in that position yeah. where, you know, they're being taken advantage of or not being yeah, used, at school, you know, at seen, work. At, oh at my friends, God. All the time. Whatever. And, and yeah. Recently, you know, mm-hmm. it's so, Anything like that that really hits a, a strong nerve in your audience mm-hmm. on top of the star power or, you know, the the relationship between the two, mm-hmm. it's oh, it's great television. It's fantastic television. Yes. Um, yeah, I, NXT's been straight cooking 